Fisher is in the area. Use these to crack open a relic. It is time for your daily dose of your vitamins and your nutrients today and this is obviously controversial so one way or another you're gonna probably hate me for doing this or might not hate me because in the end of the video you'll thank me later for trying so if you know how to use them well we're gonna be discussing ash and let me let go of my microphone for a minute and we're doing this for the absolute reason we're tired of saying people oh ash sucks oh this is annoying oh we cannot actually do this well i'm just gonna do, do the build anyway because we already know you're gonna complain you're gonna say you suck you're gonna say well i'm i'm through with this but if you listen carefully i'll tell you how good ash could be so let's begin ash is actually one of the stealthier frames in warframe you know loki well you can meet his brother ash or not his brother he's actually a little bit more assault than loki if you understand loki is kind of defensive ash is more like like stealth tactics but at the same time, let's not make a controversial statement. Ash is really different and has some abilities that makes it so he can perform things stealthily. And I'm not going to talk about the abilities, abilities like how to, but I will discuss gameplay on them a bit soon. Because with Ash, you gotta handle him well. I mean, for a spy mission, maybe. But for long runs, that's also another thing that could be crucial. Because do you obviously know Life for Real? He uses it has so much. So, what is the purpose of Ash Prime or Ash, obviously? One, it don't matter if you use Ash or Ash Prime, you can still work well. However, I think the duration could be another story. Might have to check on that. But, basically, one, you want to go long runs with him. Two, you can obviously do damage around enemies. And three, he's a good looking self frame. And if, for the optional reason, four, if you're still wondering why the heck was he a female, please don't get into that because we're just gonna put out the basics. Ash stats is making him much squishy than you know than the usual frames that are squishy, like Banshee. However, in the case, his purpose wasn't to be tanky, his purpose is to actually deal damage. What would be his stealth? And obviously be invisible as well too. But in lines of stats. The Prime version looks amazing, to be straight honest. The original version, well, at least we have skins, right? I mean, the original version is not bad, but the skins is still good. I'll give it that. And stat-wise, that's one thing. But ability-wise, let's go elaborate on them real quick, within a minute. Shuriken is basically dealing damage, obviously. You can pierce an enemy with an instant with Shuriken especially bleed him or anything two is smoke screen if i said it correctly smoke screen allows you to go invisible but with a maximum potential people say they can reach up to 20 seconds with ash's smoke screen ability loki is 30 seconds so compared to two which one are you trying to do damage you probably picking over loki over ash we get it but still you might want to think about ash if you are into ash three would be his teleport and his teleport is actually basically teleporting on an enemy or friendly it's that simple almost like Loki and for his blaze storm now this is the controversial ability that will take time to talk about this allows this used to allow you to kill everyone in the room if you understand or at least deal damage in the room it can it can just target anyone all you have to do is just press 4 and instantly anyone near your area you can deal much more damage. However, in the case, Rise of Storm did much more than what you did normally without it. And it was crazy. But people, one person is complaining about this ability saying, Oh, it got to get nerfed. He needs to work. It's killing everyone in the room. I want to kill someone. So uh, that gave us a piss off moment. Or should we say the hashtag press for the win system? Because they did not want to realize to put that in there. So basic turns for the fourth ability that is now still here today. You have to target enemies in the area. You get and it costs energy every time you target. So energy per target, excuse me, energy per target. However, if someone takes your target, you get your energy refunded back to you. This also is much better in 
when you use a smoke screen because it synergizes with it. Because if you think about it, smoke screen and using blaze storm to target, you're getting a half or I mean reduced amount of energy the co that costs for you to target an enemy. <laughs> I'm losing my words over here. Basically meaning be invisible with the target enemy, and all you gotta do is just actually target enemies and obviously do finishers on them. And that's basically simple. Blaze Storm is basically doing finishers on multiple enemies, however in case you're targeting them at this time. So the question is, what is the build for Ash or what is the point or purpose of Ash? Okay, before we get to that and with my phone vibrating, here's the thing that you should understand. You do, however, have an ability that can be so dang good that it's so obvious for anyone to use it. You can end up using Shikin Shuriken. This is a augment mod for Ash for his Shuriken ability, which allows you to strip armor off of enemies. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. What did I mean strip armor by? Well, we're gonna rephrase that target. This hits exposed, <coughs> excuse me. This augment hits exposes. I keep saying it wrong. This. Hits expose weaknesses on enemies, reducing their armor by 70% for 8 seconds. This is, allows them to reduce the armor on the enemy. This is good for Grenier units and Eroken units, but basically still in the armor units. However, you probably realize, wait, 70%? Don't you need to deal with full amount? Well, that's why I am here, and the Wikia is also here. This can be also achievable to get better armor duration. Arm reduction is affected by ability strength or power strength back then. So completely removing arm a target's armor in a single cast, ability strength needs should be increased by 43% at a minimum. This is easily reached without penalties with a combination using intensify and power drift. Meaning if you have meaning with the already 100% ability strength in Ash already set. You can increase this with just intensify and power drift, and with the Sinky Shuriken mod, you can armor strip enemies within an instant. Ain't that simple? I mean, I want to put the logic in your head. That way, you can understand where I'm coming from. So, what the heck is going on with this? You're basically armor stripping, and they all become into red health. Basically, meaning if you already understand, when you strip off an arm, excuse me, a enemy. Let me rephrase that because I keep losing my words. When you strip armor off an enemy, you can see red health going off on enemy, making it sure that you can do viral damage or any damage at all to deal much more damage quicker and effectively. And if you are using viral, it makes it, it makes it so that you can kill them quicker, much better if you understand. However, how do you use this with other enemies around there? You're at me asking. Well, Oroken and Grenier units can, do have armor, so the best possible way to doing this is by going for gameplay. So here's how I'm going to tell you how you can use Ash like this before I show you the build. I know you've been waiting for it, but I'm going to show you because you need to understand correctly. Ash can use Seeking Shuriken on Oroken or Grenier units because they have armor. So all you got to do is basically run around, but you have to have smoke screen available to you. Basically, meaning once your smoke screen countdown goes from three to one or five, four, three, two, one, you need to be hiding or go to a corner and pop it again, go back in your smoke screen. And when facing green or Roken units, you have to actually pierce their armor. But hold on, do it for mostly, I mean, mostly for the heavy units, the bombard and the heavy gunner any way shape or form that's mostly the prime target that you have to go for if you keep doing it for <clears throat> multiple targets you will lose energy within an instant just like that it's better to actually do it for mostly the bombards and grenier i mean bomb, excuse me the bombards and heavy gunner units however with xmas units that's also another thing but it could be harder for you to strip their armor off as well so that's why you should focus mostly on the heavier units and xmas units at sometimes the smaller units will take some damage at times, but sometimes, and not all the time, you can strip off some of the heavier units, excuse me, the smaller units armor, just like that, looking said and done. Okay, 
how much energy do you need? You can obviously use energy restores. That's gonna be one thing. And that's gonna be the main thing you're gonna have to keep using every time when the new rework comes in for the focus system. But the focus that you need to have is actually Sonoric Energy Overflow. Now this is obviously gonna get removed soon. So if you're watching this video, please use it right now. And please use it. But at the same time, if it's already past the video, then you need energy resource because you're gonna have to use that a lot to get your energy back up. I know it's annoying, but that's the untold truth. There is another way that can bypass this energy system. It is by, and yep, it's expensive. Energy, Arcane Energize, which allows you to give yourself energy back to your teammates, including yourself. This is obviously achievable with this, but you're gonna see, realize how my build can be performed effectively without that much energy consuming, if you get what I'm saying. Also, if you really want to go there with Corpus, you don't have to use Chicken Shuriken that much. You can just peel pierce them with that one or just don't pierce them at all it's the same tactic as the grenier just without that much of a seeking shuriken system infested same story now if you want to use blaze storm there is an effective way to use blaze storm arcane trickery this gives a 20 percent chance to go invisible for 20 seconds if i'm correct if you have two sets applied on your ash your helmet and your sayonara you'll be able to get a better chance it won't stack but it improves the chances if i'm correct that way you can go visible quickly and take less and it will take less targets to for you to make yourself go invisible you can switch screen use a blaze storm and smoke screen it's that simple but if you don't have arcanes or enough to buy arcanes then that's why smoke screen is there for you to use on your reference or on your build your ash anyway Okay, now the long-awaited thing that we've been waiting for so dang long, or dang long. What kind of build am I using? If you ever seen Rio's build, this should be the same thing, or it may be different, because I have not even seen Rio's build at all. I'm being straight honest. But if you do say that it's like Rio's build, then I must have lost my train of thoughts. But anyway, it is time, real quick, for your daily dose of mods for you to use this is i believe a one form build because i was kind of lazy but at the same time let's take a minute off this this is my power drift obviously therefore seeking shuriken the armor stripping potential prime cod stretch fleeing expertise now my and streamline now there is no prime flow because you don't need it do you obviously see the efficiency that you're dealing with yes you should be in there. Also, steel charge in any sense because let's face it, we need extra melee power. But you can add another form to actually increase your energy with energy siphon, or maybe go for an extra forma to make it three forma. Okay, let me talk about the purpose of the build while I get off the video. Okay, the purpose of this build is actually for you to not have so much energy. I mean, excuse me, it's not use prime flow, but it's less energy consuming. Of course, stretch. I kind of forgot why I had stretch on there, but it's probably. I think it's effective for seeking shuriken, the targeting system, maybe because of that. But overall, this is energy consuming when you use it without, without these energy efficiency mods, because it is pain in the neck. If you get what I'm saying, it allows you to have less of a cost of energy to use on your ash prime or your ash. But that's why power drift. You're gaining without penalties a boost in strength allowing you for I mean, allowing your all be my chicken shuriken to give you the armor shuriken potential and i don't have prime continuity maxed out but my narrow might and my rank nine prime continuity this could be achievable to give you about i think 18 seconds of smoke screen duration allowing you to be invisible for 18 seconds with a maxed out prime continuity i haven't checked it out completely but it may give you like maybe 19 seconds, almost 20. But you're already having almost 20 seconds of efficiency wise to deal with. Okay, so what is the purpose of the build? <coughs> Excuse me. Why should you use armor stripping? Well, if you have any fire weapons or weapons that can deal fire damage, you can do it effectively with armor. I mean, with the armor stripping. This is armor strip, or should I say, seeking armor. 
your tank health armor, you do enough viral damage, and you can melt enemies, enemies, enemies within an instant. If you do not believe me, you should try it yourself. Of course, it's better to do it on <clears throat> the non x units first, but you may need some little bit more shurikens to deal more damage on an enemy, at least to reduce their armor rating. But at the same time, you're doing this because you're you're gonna, you're gonna be doing this for long runs and end game. Now, what is the reason that? Oh, hey, can I just say invisible for enemy line of sight issue issue situation? If you're a noob and just figuring this out, then let me tell you specifically why you should use smoke screen much more often than you think. Smoke screen is there to go invisible. If you're in line of sight at a low 100 or at least mott that are like high level or at least maybe 20 minutes or over maybe 10 you can get one shot it with an instant basically you need to say you have to go invisible immediately well no it's answer but that's a straight up story so i mean with extremity missions that are like low level and now you can just play around with you can just play around with chicken shuriken a lot more often but with High level units or sorty tier two to three, if I'm correct, you may want to use smoke screen a lot often and high in a corner to pull out your Nars to another smoke screen that you need. However, in another case, you can use the Blaze Storm option where Blaze Storm, Arcane Trickery, two sets, better chance, but doesn't stack, is good. Am I right? I haven't tested it, but it will be an interesting choice for you to do. And I'm not saying for you that you have to buy it. Or the choice if you want to farm it or not, you can still use your smoke screen. That's basically dead simple. Now, I am done. Okay, so let's go ahead and wrap up the video because this was long. I needed to get you guys to. Ex I needed to explain to you everyone if you think about Ash correctly. So, as the usual outro goes, if you enjoyed your stay, don't forget to leave a like and if you want to see more. Don't forget to subscribe. My name is Travis with Shay. Thank you guys so much for sticking around for so much long to get my purpose of attention and my build out there for you guys to understand. Even though there's going to be a quicker way to tell you this, I just need to play in detail for you guys to understand. But, to fellow operators, I'll see you later in the next video.